Now going to the National League side. I have Craig Council from the Milwaukee Brewers. He is going to be free to sign with any team to become their manager this offseason if the Brewers don't bring him back. So I'm excited to see where he would go if he doesn't go back to Milwaukee. Oh my god, oh my god. News broke today that Chicago Cubs are to hire new manager Craig Council. That's what this video is about, my reaction as a Cubs fan. As you saw in the beginning of the video, Craig Council was like my NL Manager of the Year award. And I mentioned he was free to sign with any new existing team and that I would be excited to see whatever team he would sign with. I truly never thought ever in a million years that he would sign with my Chicago Cubs, but that non-existing dream came true. I'm in disbelief. I was actually editing the video that I just posted today, the best player from every state video, and I got notifications from MLB Network that Cubs to hire Craig Council. I don't know why I second guessed it because it's from MLB.com, but I was literally like, is this real? My initial reaction was, what about David Ross? David Ross was at least supposed to be the Cubs manager through 2025. So for another two years, that's a big reason I didn't even get my hopes up as, oh, Cubs go after Craig Council this offseason. Cause we have David Ross. So I never ever thought that Craig Council would come to the Chicago Cubs. David Ross, he did a he did a decent job. He got us to the playoffs, unfortunately, only one time in 2020, but we fell short the last three seasons. Other than that, I personally think David Ross, he struggled with our bullpen. I think he struggled with starting players that aren't really worthy of being started. And that's just me watching the Cubs lineup every single day. Those are my opinions. Those are opinions from other Cubs fans that I hear about on a daily. So my pure reaction is I am so excited and happy about this signing. It's a little bittersweet because I do feel bad for David Ross, who news broke. Literally, I believe today that Okay, he's manager and now he's not. But for the Cubs to not miss on an opportunity to get one of the best MLB managers, like I had to wear the jersey for this. I knew this off season I was going to make videos like this reacting to like big player signings. I did not expect the first day of free agency to be the Cubs getting a new manager and a good one at that. It's literally 12.30 in the morning right now. News broke about 12 hours for me, but I could not get the chance to film this video until right now. But I have to stay up a little bit later just to make sure that I can make this or else it's gonna be irrelevant, right? But today was the first day of free agency, no real free agent signings yet. So now that we talked about like my reaction, we're gonna go into the reasons why I really did not think he would ever come to the Chicago Cubs. Okay, so like I just said a moment ago, I just wanna clarify the main reasons as to why I and maybe many other Cubs fans never believed that Craig Council, being in the open market, would come to the Cubs. Number one being, like I already kinda mentioned, David Ross. Do you wanna clarify he was under contract through the 2024 season with an option for 2025. Another reason too that I got to read up on that I wasn't too familiar with was Craig Council was raised in Wisconsin. That's his home state, okay? Being the manager of the Milwaukee Brewers for nine seasons, with the Cubs being their rivals for all nine seasons. So that was for me, psh, I thought Craig Council would want to get out of the division, try somewhere new. Being just north of Chicago, I don't know, I just never saw it. I mean, the thought did pop up in my mind as soon as I knew that Craig Council would be on the open market. You can't help but think, oh, what if he was my manager? But no, it was never a reality for me. Just in the last week or so, there were rumors that Craig Council was in talks with the Mets and the Guardians, as they both have open manager positions. The Mets released Buck Showalter and Terry Francona retired. So two really good organizations that have had pretty good managers, especially Terry Francona, have opening spots you wanna replace with another really great manager. So that's another reason you just thought that these two teams we're gonna probably get to council first. Apparently Craig Council called most of the Brewers players right when the news broke because he wanted them to hear it from him. A starting pitcher Corbin Burns said, it kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, Corbin Burns obviously being a rival to the Cubs on the Brewers, uh, yeah, it came out of nowhere to him that his longtime manager will now be joining their rival. He also said, I think my reaction is the same as everyone in the organization and the fan base. We're just shocked initially. So am I. So am I. Another longtime Brewers pitcher, Brandon Woodruff, said, I'm still processing it too. I was not expecting the Cubs. Which you cannot blame them. I mean, dude, th this is just two quotes I wanted to read to you as to how shocking this is. The Cubs waited until November 1st to finally reach out to Craig Council. Unlike the Mets and Guardians have already been in talks with Council. So the fact that the news broke today that Jed Hoyer signed Council and it went completely under the radar and it happened so quietly. It just kind of goes to show that Jed Hoyer does like to work that way. The Dansby Swanson signing last year, the last like two days were rumors. 
but the news broke and I was absolutely amazed and so ecstatic. I mean, I'm wearing his jersey right now. After the news was confirmed today, it all started to make sense that he did not want to leave very far and up his family. And Wrigley just being under the border of Wisconsin and Illinois, it's quite perfect for their situation, which is why him coming to the Chicago Cubs just worked so well. Now moving on to, I think the last segment of this video is going to be the true pros to this signing. We talked about my peer reaction and opinions on it. We talked about why it was so shocking. Now I wanna talk about the pros. I cannot leave out the part that Cubs GM, Jed Hoyer, made Craig Council the highest paid MLB manager. He will be making a flat $8 million per season over the next five years, which more than doubles what he made in 2023. He made 3.5 million with the Brewers over the 2023 season. And the Brewers GM was prepared to double that amount just to keep him and give him a long extension to stay in Milwaukee. But Craig Council was not sure as to what he wanted to do. He didn't know if he wanted to take a year off from managing. He didn't know if he wanted to for sure up and leave or if he was going to re-up with Milwaukee. He definitely wanted to test the open waters though. And boy, did that work out for him. And so quick too. So yes, the Cubs signed him to a five-year $40 million contract, which I can't help but think this takes him right through the next Cubs core. You have Dansby Swanson, Nico Horner, young prospects like Pete Crow Armstrong, Ian Happy got locked up, Justin Steele. Hopefully the Cubs can go out and extend Cody Bellinger. If not, bring in a really solid bat, maybe trade for Soto and extend him. You have the next five plus or so years to make one of the next best new Cubs teams. And as a Cubs fan, I could not be more excited right now. We're not to the end of the video just yet, but if you're a Cubs fan, I want you to comment down below right now your opinions and how excited are you and your overall thoughts. I want to have some conversations in the comments. Okay, back to the actual pros of this conversation. Kirk Council is the most winningest manager in Brewers franchise history, having won 707 games and losing 625 over his stint with the Milwaukee Brewers. He guided the Brewers to three division titles and five playoff appearances, all within the past six years. And this is not at all to dog David Ross. I think he has been a pretty good manager for his first time in that role starting in 2020. I think he's taken the role and, and he's definitely had success with it. I mean, just this year, yes, the Cubs were like a game and a half behind to make the wild card. But the summer of 2023 is when the Cubs flipped it around, especially starting July 1st. We had a solid nine game winning streak. Several players were breaking out, especially like, of course, Cody Bellinger, Justin Seale, amazing defenders. That's why the Cubs, you know, it also broke yesterday for me that the Cubs did get three gold gloves this year in Dansby Swanson, Nico Horner, Ian Happ. But that's... That's not what this is about. But anyways, just had to mention that. But over the last four seasons, David Ross carried the Cubs with a 262 and 284 record. So only a 480 winning percentage. I think one of the things David Ross struggled with the most was bullpen and lineup. He would start guys that didn't make too much sense or he would put in bullpen arms that just didn't make too much sense that would blow several leads. So right now, starting off this offseason, needing to make a couple changes, especially bullpen, maybe grabbing another pitching arm, another power bat, maybe lefty, trading for a guy like Alonzo or Soto or bringing back Belly, or making one of the biggest runs and getting Otani. That seems a little crazy, but never count it out. The Cubs just signed Craig Council. But the first day of free agency, bringing in an amazing new manager to start this kind of next Cubs era is just the first step. I am so excited, okay? And you know the Cubs. Craig Council obviously wanted to go to a team that was going to make a run at the playoffs every single season. He deserves a winning team. He deserves good players to manage and a lot of success. So kind of in my little thought bubble, I'm thinking the Cubs, obviously they had a winning record this past season just falling a game and a half short of the playoffs, losing 15 of their last 22 games in September. You know that Jed Hoyer had to tell Craig Council that they are wanting to make big moves to win next year. So as of right now, going into November 7th, free agency is underway, and I'm sure I'm gonna be talking to you guys a lot from this chair about all of these new free agent signings, especially if the Cubs make some big ones, because I like to talk about all of baseball, but my heart still lies with the Chicago Cubs, and that will always be, you know, my heart but anyways so that wraps up this video guys i wish i was able to film this video 12 hours ago but one in the morning fits but i'm gonna count this 
This is my first video of free agency. I like to say I think we started it off pretty well. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, like and subscribe for more overall baseball content. And if you want to see my reactions and my opinions to all of these big free agent signings coming up here in the near future, then hit that subscribe button. As of today, November 6th, which was today, but it's after midnight. So I uploaded the best MLB player from every state today. That video took me about a week to edit. All the support means so much to me, guys, and it just motivates me every single day to keep making more videos, and it, I just love it. I say it at the end of every single video. It's so much fun. I love talking about baseball. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below. I love to have conversations in the comments. Share your opinions and your thoughts, and if you were shocked or not, on this signing down in the comments below, and I will be sure to respond to all of them. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.